General has tweeted about the coup in Guinea, saying, I'm personally following the situation there very closely. I strongly condemn any takeover of the government by force of the gun and call for the immediate release of President Alpha Conde. Aguasi Ose is a professor of history and political science at Delaware University. He says citizens are backing Colonel Dumbuya. Don't forget, Colonel Dumbuya is a Conde man. He was placed in charge of the special forces the of Omdurman, where both the military and the RSF have amassed tens of thousands of troops since an October 2021 military coup that derailed Sudan's fragile path to democracy. Residents described chaotic scenes in Khartoum and Omdurman as firing and explosions rang out in densely populated neighborhoods. Fire and explosions are everywhere, said Amal Mohammed, a doctor in a public hospital in Omdurman. All are running and seeking shelter. The fighting comes after months of escalating tensions between the generals and years of political unrest after an October 2021 military coup. Current tensions between the military and the paramilitary stem from a disagreement over how the RSF, headed by General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo, should be integrated into the military and what authority should oversee the process. The merger is a key condition of Sudan's unsigned transition agreement with political groups. Here's what we have so far. The Sudanese paramilitary group Rapid Support Forces took over the presidential palace in the capital Khartoum earlier today. It is now reported that government special forces have retaken control of the republic's palace in Khartoum, as well as the airport. Fighting erupted between the Sudan Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces in Khartoum capital of the country. Multiple Sudan army helicopters spotted over Khartoum. Attack helicopters also engaged RSF targets. The Sudan Air Force also is involved in the clashes. The planes attacked rebel targets all over the capital. The no threat on the existence of this country. We have to fight for our country. Fight, army, we support you. We came out to support Captain Traore for real change. So each member state has to contribute some troops uh, to talk about resources, to talk about some sort of framework that these troops can operate under. And I think they want to send the message to... Do I really have a choice? I submit to it because I do not wish any blood to be shed to keep me in power. The coup leaders also appeared on state television, vowing a transition that would lead to fresh elections. Their takeover started as a mutiny among soldiers at an army base near the capital Bamako. After seizing weapons and taking high-ranking prisoners, they then moved to the president's house, surrounding it and firing gunshots into the air. Crowds of anti-government protesters cheered on as the democratically elected leader was arrested and driven away. We are very happy because this is a liberation for the people of Mali. All of Mali's people were waiting for this day and we were waiting for the president and his men to allow us to breathe. Today, we don't have any words to express what's in our hearts. Thank God, and may the president and his gang leave us in peace. Mali has been gripped by months of anti-government protests, with many accusing Keita's administration of corruption and incompetence, especially when it came to preventing a jihadist insurgency from the north. While the president's resignation was celebrated by those in the street,